Uh, hello everybody, and I just kind of wanted to need to upload something, so I decided why not do a tutorial. I've started this world where I've just been building a bunch of cool little ships, and you know, just some ones that I think are really cool, and the design ones I've based them off of either 3D models I found online or World of Warships. So. I wanted to do a tutorial on this one right here. This is the SN Vladivostok. So SN Vladivostok, a World War II Soviet battleship design. You got the Soviet flag right here. And yeah, so this is Vladivostok. Uh, I just kind of wanted to do a little tutorial on it because I thought it'd be pretty neat. And hey, somebody, I'm sure somebody could use it in one of their worlds. So this thing, I did not build a bottom for her, I just built the main hull, so if you need a bottom, then you're either going to have to substitute it, substitute for something, or put it on display like I have it, or you're going to have to build your own, so I'm sorry about that, but, yeah, so, just have this, uh, yeah, I'm going to be building it right here, alongside it, I'm going to break this after, as of course I need this slot to you know, build another ship, but yeah. So, let's get going. Alright, to start us off here, we have layer 1. So I went ahead, what I did is I went ahead and I built the uh, the right side of it, since uh, for the main hall, this is all symmetrical. So, I just went ahead and built the, uh, the right side of it. And I'm going to do the left side along with you, then whatever we do on the left side, you're just going to copy over to the right side, and that'll be that. So, Starting out at the very front, we're going to have an upside down stone stair. Then we're going to go back one, two, three, four, five, and then six blocks. I'm going to place a st upside down stone stair like that. And we're going to go one, two, three, four. I'm going to place a top slab like that. Then we're going to go one, two, three, four again. I'm going to place an upside down stone stair like that. And then we have the long part. We're just going to go back 45 blocks, so just count over 45 stone blocks like that. And then once, you get to, once you've got 45 blocks down, you're just going to go in and you're going to put two. And then you want to put three upside down stone stairs. So as you can see, you already have two right here, so we're going to put in our third. And yes, yeah, so we get three upside down stone stairs like that for the back. So that's layer one. Uh, let's go ahead and I'll set up layer two. Alright, so for layer 2, we're going to go ahead and start. So once again, uh, I'm going to do this side, you're just going to copy over whatever we do. So we're going to, on top of this stair right here, we're going to place 1, and we're going to do 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then 6. I'm going to place an andesite wall. Then we're going to go back 1, 2, 3, 4. Then we're going to place an upside down stair with a iron trap door on the front of it there. Then we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then we're going to place two andesite walls. I'm going to place one on top of the stair, and then one coming off the edge right here. Then we're going to place 40 blocks. We're going to go back 40. So once you get 40, you're going to take your andesite walls. You're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So yeah, cover up these last five blocks with your andesite walls. Then place one stone block behind this to cover up that gap, and then you're going to go two, three, so, you know, cover up that, and then you're going to place three blocks on to, actually, excuse me, I did not mean to do that, uh, to actually place an upside down stair like that, then place it like this, so, you get that right there, you get kind of that little indent right there, then go ahead and place three blocks on top of the three stairs we placed, so, yeah, that's the end of that. I'm going to go ahead and set up layer number three. Alright, so for layer number three here, we're going to be finishing up the main hull of the ship. So what we're going to do is you're going to place an upside down stair right here. Place So place a block on top of the block of place right there, then upside down stair. And on this block, we're going to place down a mangrove button or anything that's any button that's kind of red to kind of resemble the red soviet star then this is uh... so we're gonna have one 
two wither skeleton skulls, and then there is one difference, and that's on this side. There is only one wither skeleton skull that's right there, so that's supposed to be like the anchors. So then you're going to go ahead and place five uh, jungle wood planks right here, and you're going to go ahead and place one upside down stair like that, then this one like that, then you're going to go back to about, you're going to go back to right there, you know, cover those up. Then you've got uh, upside down stair like that. Then on top of the trap door, you're gonna place a andesite wall. Then you're gonna go back four, and then you're gonna place a slab. So you get the slab, and then you're gonna go back 47 stone blocks. So we're just going back 47. So, and that's gonna get us to right there. Then you're gonna want to place five, yeah, five jungle wood planks across, and then you want to place three andesite walls right here. So put two on top of the ones right here, then have one hanging off the edge. So you get three right there, and then you uh, put three more blocks on to three more stone blocks on top of these, and then fill this little gap in right here with uh, jungle wood planks. And then just repeat that. And once you're done, you're going to go ahead and you're going to fill all this in with jungle wood planks. And that's going to set up the foundation for the superstructure and the deck of our ship. Alright, so once you get this all filled in with your jungle wood planks, where you can go ahead and start on the deck details and the base of the superstructure. So, just a little disclaimer I'm going to be making a lot of trips over. So, make a lot of trips over here, having to check, make sure I'm doing it right. And do not worry about these black stone buttons. I will go through with the with you at the end. Once we get it all built, I will go through telling you where to place. But if I do place one, like, in the tutorial, then that's because it's a detail that's needed, like, desperately needed, and we can't forget about it. So, let's go ahead and start. So, we're going to start right up here at the front. Hang on, let me just grabbing everything, you know. Making sure I got it all. Alright, let's start. So, right here at the very front, I'm going to go ahead and place a too high uh, uh, pole here using iron bars. And then, right here where our anchors are, we're going to place two iron trap doors and then four black stone buttons that are placed like that. And then right here, we're going to place a daylight sensor. I'm going to set it to night mode so we get that shade of gray, which is what we want. Then we're going to go one block behind it. We're going to place an iron trap door, an iron trap door, and another one like that. So we get, and then we're going to do that like this, so we get this kind of triangle shape. Then we're going to do some little details right here. So we have a, a black stone button right here, and black stone button right here. And then right here we're going to place a redstone repeater. Make sure you're facing this way when you place it. So that way the little gap between the knobs are facing that way. Set the four tick delay to split them all the way apart. And then we're going to take a redstone comparator. And you're going to place it right here. And make sure you're facing that way when you place it. So that way the knob is facing that way. Alright, now we're going to take our iron trap doors once again we're gonna place like this like this and then on the third one we're gonna go out one like that so we get kinda that shape right here alright now we're gonna go ahead and make our first gun so right here we're gonna go back to make sure you space two and we're gonna place a stair it's gonna be facing that way then we're gonna place the stair facing this way so that way it curves and we'll place the stair facing this way so that way we get kind of that shape right there then we place three blocks behind it and then we're gonna go back here to the front and we're gonna place two uh, end rods for the bar for the barrels you can do that three times for all three barrels and there you have that so we're gonna go and place three more full blocks I'm going to place one full block with it, two andesite walls on the side. And then you're going to place three stone slabs like that. And then you're going to place another three 
but then on this last row you're going to add one coming off each end like that so you actually have a row of five there all right now coming off right here we're going to have a little uh slab then we're going to have a stair and then to each side of that stair we're going to place two anisite the walls then right here place a row of three and then we're going to have two stairs facing like this and we're going to go ahead and place that so that's going to be the beginning uh, that's the bottom of the uh, mount for our second gun alright so next up we're going to have a row of three because this is connected we go back one place place in the side walls to the side now we're going to place start making some secondary armament guns so we're going to go ahead and take some deep slate tile stairs and some dark oak wood fence gates so and we're going to place two and they're facing make sure they're facing that way and plus put them on the sides of that and then we're going to take our dark oak wood fence gate we're going to place it in front of it and open it going inward so it looks like two barrels all right so now we're going to place a row of three then we're going to place two more secondary armaments once again make sure you get your things oh all right so you have that and then we're gonna place in two rows of three right behind them like that place another row of three and then you're gonna go out three and then in back in two so you get kind of this go ahead and fill that in so you should have a shape that looks like that and then right here on the edge of our little out this part where it kind of shoots out right here on the edge I'm gonna place a secondary armament then we're gonna place another one right in front of it and then we're actually gonna go in one place that right in front of it so gonna have it kind of like that do the same thing right here oh all right now we're going to take some stone brick blocks I it, I have slabs because I made those out of slabs but you really just need the blocks except for the curved one right there you're gonna need slabs so right here you're just gonna go ahead and place you two stone brick blocks we're gonna have a row two like that yeah two all right we're gonna connect them using a row of three and okay so we're gonna go back okay so we're gonna go back one two three four five six seven blocks like that so we have seven rows of three like this and make sure you leave this open and you're gonna in this second block right here you're gonna go ahead and just place a cobblestone wall build it up one so you know where it's at and then right here on this you're gonna place one stone block the stone stairs facing like that on the outside of it then we're gonna take some chains some oak slabs and some oak stairs and some smooth stone slabs so what you're going to do with those you're going to place one chain like this one like that one like that and then you're going to place a oak oh i didn't wait okay yeah i did that right okay oak slab right here oh, oak slab like that then have a oak stair facing this way and this is supposed to be a little lifeboat and then we're going to take our smooth stone slabs and we're going to run three across like this, another three, and another three. So we get this little three by three area. Then take chains, place them like that. All right, next thing is next. We got our uh, iron trap doors. We're going to place them like this. Then we're going to get our daylight sensors. We're going to place two, set them in night mode, of course. Then we're going to take some cobblestone slabs. We're going to place three. 
So this is supposed to be our cranes for our float plane. All right, then we have our stone buttons. I'm just gonna run them all the way across like this. So we kind of have like a little outline, I guess, there. All right, now we're gonna take our cobblestone stairs and we're gonna skip one. I'm gonna go to our wood block and skip one and place it, make sure it's facing that way. And yeah, that's gonna finish off the first layer for our superstructure and uh, deck details. Now we're gonna move into the next layer. Alright, next up for the next layer we're going to place two blocks like this and we're gonna place it upside down stairs so we kinda make that little C shape. Then we're gonna place two blocks like this. We're gonna bring up these andesite walls by one. And then we're going to do the same thing with the stairs, place an upside down one there, an upside down one here to make that little C shape. Alright, next up, we're just going to skip over this area here, we're going to place some stone stairs like that. Then we're going to bring this across through the back here, we're going to stop there, yep. And if you feel you need to, I'm just doing it for the sake of the tutorial. Alright, so then we're gonna, on these little spots right here, we're gonna place our more secondary armaments. Make sure these are facing away from each other. Then, of course, do that for the barrels. Then for right here, for, oh, uh, that's for the next layer. What am I doing? Okay, so right here we're going to place a stone brick block like that with a stone brick uh, ball. And I completely forgot to place the beginning of these on the last layer, so I'll do them now. I'm just gonna take two chain or four chains. Just place them up like that. We're gonna take our slabs. We're gonna go ahead and bring this up. And we're gonna bring this up again. And then we're going to place some stairs here. And we have some more secondary armaments. Go ahead and place them like that. All right. So just place that, and then we're going to. Place this, like that, and then we're going to go ahead and take our stone brick wall here. Place, place it like that. Place some stone brick stairs. And then we're going to take our end rods, and we're going to place them off of the stair like this. And I'm going to skip one. We're going to place two gonna start our gun we're gonna so we're gonna place two andesite walls like this place a thing in the middle we're gonna place a row three another row three then just like we did last time make that little shape and then we take our barrels and since it's a gun we're just gonna go ahead and finish it off while we're here so just like we did place a row of three stone slabs then another row of three but make it into a row of five by coming off with one on each end and that's gonna have our gun and then the last thing we are gonna do is we're gonna take our iron trap doors we're gonna place one on top of the stair here then we're gonna come back one and then we're gonna come forward all the way and then make sure you leave one space or one block in between the in between the, the big slab here and the end of our plane catapult so that's gonna have our second layer done just make sure I didn't forget anything yep that's gonna have it alright so we're gonna go ahead and move up to our next layer of the superstructure alright next layer we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start from our second gun mount here and we're gonna go ahead and build it so we're gonna do the same thing and 
Just place our stairs in the shape of that. You know the drill by now. Place our three, our row of three and row, or, you know what I mean. Place a row of three, a row of three, then one, and make sure this is just hanging off the edge. Our NSI walls to the side. I'm gonna get our stone slabs, row of three, and then a row of three, make it into a row of five. Alright, and that's got our our uh, second and final gun done. So, now we're going to place a row of three stone blocks here. And then we're going to place some stone stairs coming right off the front of it. Make sure you place them upside down. So again, we're making this little kind of C shape. Alright. And then we're just going to go ahead and place these behind this. We're going to place a and a sight wall, like that right there. Again, just place a block behind it. Just continue going. Okay, actually, stop right there. So stop right there, just one block. And then we're gonna place stone brick stair with a stone brick block. And then an upside down stone brick stair. And that's going to have that. Then just like last time, another stone brick block up. Going to bring this up. And then we're going to place a block here. And a andesite wall there. And then once again, we're going to make the little C shape with the stairs like that. Do that on each side. And then we're going to go right here and right in between these uh, secondary guns you're going to place and a site wall with a stone bridge slab on top of it and place some end rods coming off of it do the same thing on this side alright now we're going to do the same thing right here on top of this uh, stone brick wall, we're going to place a stone brick slab with two end rods coming off of it like that. And that's going to have us for this layer, I think. As you can see, the layers are getting shorter and shorter as we go up. That's because we're getting less and less things to place because we're finishing off the build. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and move up to our next layer. All right. Next up, we're gonna place these like this, just going on across. I'm gonna place a little thing like a little uh, andesite wall like that. Take our polished blackstone buttons and place them. On, place two of them on each side, or one on each side, like that. All right. So we're gonna go to. Okay, so we're going to go to right here, then we're going to use some stone slabs. Oh, I can't place it. What? Okay. Alright, now once we get those stone slabs down, I'm going to go ahead Two stone full block or er, stone brick full blocks, stone wall in the front of it like that, and of course bring this up one, bring this up one, and then I'm gonna put a stone brick stair on top of that wall like that, place our end rods coming off of it. And that's it for the Slayer. We're going to go on to the next layer now. We're finishing off the build here, guys. Alright, for the next layer, we're going to go ahead and place this and that. Gonna, okay, we're going to go ahead and place our end rods coming off the side. Then we're going to go back one. And we're going to place some upside 
Come on now. Bro. Alright, we can play some upside down the stairs. Gonna Alright, we're just gonna go back one like this. leave that open and we're gonna go ahead and place some levers and like this and some little anti-aircraft guns so that's what we got there then onto the funnel right here we're gonna have a stair with two full blocks and that's it for the angling after that it just goes straight up and I have this. Of course, bring this up one. And that's going to be our. Let me check. 38. Or 51, excuse me. Yep, this is it. This is our last one. And on top of this, place that. And we got our main battery directors. We're completely finished with that part. And now. We're just finishing off the build here, so I'm not even going to do layers anymore, I'm just going to keep it going. So, for this, we're going to place this here, with that and that. Then we're going to, uh, um, on the sides here, I'm going to place these stairs going in like that. And then we're going to put full blocks on the outside here. And we're gonna put some dark oak signs around these full blocks for like the windows of the bridge, because this is the main bridge. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna take our andesite walls. And we're just gonna go ahead and wrap them around this like that. Alright, now we're gonna move on to the funnel right here. And this is it for the funnel. We just build up one like this. And yeah, that's that. And then we're going to go over. We're going to get some black stone walls. We're going to build up one like that. And let's get out of there. We're going to take some deep slate tile slabs. Just put them on top of the funnel. And yeah. Alright, next thing to next. We got our... Uh, Place that and place this. Get some slabs. So, yeah, I'm gonna put the slabs around this. Just go around like that. Then, we're gonna put some levers on them for anti aircraft guns. Just put one in the front here and two on the sides. Then, we're gonna Go up by that, and go up another, and place our slabs in this order. Then we're going to place our stair, then our stone brick wall with our slab, and then the end rods coming off of both of them like this and then unlike all the others this one's a bit different as we're gonna place some iron bars Ooh. he's gonna place some iron bars like that so we're gonna place one then one to the side and then one to this side so we get kind of that little radar dish looking thing all right now we're gonna make our little crane here that little crane that sticks off the side and what we're gonna do is we're gonna come to one below here I'm gonna build over, make it three, then come down one. Then we're gonna go out one to each side. Like that, so it kinda looks like a crane angling out. And then we're gonna take some end rods, we're gonna go up by five. 
and then five. Oh, and then five. So we have that for a mass. And then we're gonna take our black stone wall. Is gonna take that up one. Get our end rods. We're gonna go up four with these. Three, four. And then we're gonna take our chains. We're gonna go up one, two, three, and four with them as well. So one, two, three, four. Now you don't have to, but if you want to keep it accurate, you can put the little Soviet flag here on the the on this right here. Uh, this banner design for the Soviet flag was not my design. I uh, I can't remember the guy's name that made it but I'm not taking any credit for this because this is not my design. I'm not that good with banner designs. <laughs> anyway, so that's got the masts and I think, yeah, that's basically got the ship done. Well, except for the uh, the black stone buttons. As I did say, I was going to go through those with you. So take your black stone buttons and the order you're going to want to place them in is you're going to place these four like that I'm gonna go over one place. Oh, I'm gonna go over one place three, and on this side, it's gonna be different. On this side, you're just gonna have four right here with two right there. So two like that, and then on the back of this, so we're gonna have one this little crevice right here then on the back you're gonna go up one and then two that and you're gonna skip one and place one right there and then on this side you're just gonna go right here place two and that's and then right here let me throw and right here. Yeah, that's all. That's got all these. You're just gonna want to place these two right here. Then I'm gonna have one. All right. So right here, you're just gonna place one. Skip a space two. Skip a space three. And then on this side, it's kind of different. So we're going to have three, skip space one, skip space three. Alright, well, I think that's going to have the ship. I'm just making sure I'm not forgetting any buttons. Yeah, that's got it. Alright, well, thank you for following my first tutorial, and I hope that I will get better with these tutorials over time. Next ship I'm going to be doing is the battleship, hybrid battleship Issei. And I'm not the best at building these little 1 to 5 scale ships, so I do frequently follow a tutorial. I try to do them all my, t try to do what I can myself, but I mean, for instance, over here on this one, the USS Louisiana, I followed a tutorial from a guy called T Garrett 2B4, 2x4 for the, uh, the hull of the Iowa class battleship and the guns. But other than that, the quadruple gun, the arrangements here on the back, and the flight deck was all my stuff. So, but I do have to give him credit for the main Iowa class battleship hull. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for the tutorial. Thank you for watching. Maybe you can use this ship in your world. Uh, if, you ca if you can, please place a sign on it. Put my name on it somewhere. Just give me some credit for it. Please don't steal my credit, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial when we build the battleship Issei. Alright, see you then.